having a form of godliness. I want to read from 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached into the then Gentiles, believed on in the word, received up in true glory. God was manifest in the flesh. In Gospel of John, first chapter, says that word become flesh. So Jesus is God that manifest in flesh, justified in spirit. So you must accept that Jesus is God before hearing my message. I want to read from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse, verse 1 to 5. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers, lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with them. We are living in these last days. Most of the believers, they have only a form of godliness. They love pleasures rather than God, but they denied its power. It's not Jesus that they are, ki they are king. They are not guided by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not Jesus the chief of the churches. This is the Babylon churches. Because they denied his power. They have only form of godliness. They betrayed Jesus like Judas. They love money. And love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy. They speak, they act like the Hollywood actors. They act behind people. They have form of godliness, but they denied his power. It's not Jesus, their chief, their king. They preach only for money. They are money preachers. They steal money from people and they use it for their pleasure. For that reason, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 5, use these wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth who suppose that godliness is a means of gain from such withdraw yourself. They use godliness for their gain. They steal people. They use it for their richness. They think that if they do like this, God doesn't see it. God sees everything. And the wrath of God will come on these Babylon churches because they have only form of godliness, but denied its power. They don't want to follow Jesus. For that reason, Jesus said in Luke, whoever comes to me and hears my saying and does them, I will show you whom he is like. He's like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently against that house. I could not shake it, for it was founded on the rock. But he who heard and did nothing is like a man who built a house on the earth without a foundation, without Jesus. 
without having its power. They have only form of godliness, against which the stream beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. So you will fall down, these Babylon churches. You are pitching for money, you will fall down, and your ruin will be very great. Therefore the Lord says, Inasmuch as this, these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandments of man. So you put laws in that Babylon churches, and you, you say that this is the commandment of God. It's false. It's a commandment of man, and you think that you are pleasing God. You have only form of godliness, but you denied His power. You love pleasure rather than lovers of God. So, in Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31, So they come to you as people do. They sit before you as my people, and they hear your words, but they do not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their hearts pursue their own gain. So you hear the voice of God, you hear the messages, but you show love. You have only form of godliness, but their hearts pursue their own gain. You do it only for your gain, for your pleasure. You think that God will not see it, but God will, the wrath of God will come on the church. So go, come back to Jesus, accept His power, and be separate from this world. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, Verse 16 to 18. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Therefore come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. I will, will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the Lord Almighty. So separate from these Babylon churches. Come out and God will accept you. Because only they have form of godliness but they denied its power. So come out from these churches. Come to Jesus. Jesus wait for you, waiting for you. He will speak to you. He will be your father and you will be his son. So come to him, he's waiting for you. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God, but who does the will of my Father in heaven. So don't think that you are cheating people, that God will accept you. You have only form of godliness, but you die, denied his power. So many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew, knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. So even the wonders, the miracles, all these things is happening. If you don't do the will of God, you will be cast out in the darkness, in the lake of fire. So be separate from these churches that have only form of godliness by they deny its power. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hope hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs which look beautiful on the outside but on the inside are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. So you can't cheat God you can show people everything, but you can't cheat God. So you are like the tombs 
white washed tombs. From the outside, it's very beautiful, but the inside full of dead man's bones and everything unclean. So come to Jesus. They profess to know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable, disobedient, and, and disqualified for every good work. So profess Jesus as your God. Come to him. He's waiting for you. He will accept you. You will be his son. So God bless you.